It's been a while since we had a new game-changing update by Leonardo AI. OMG, wow, that is so crazy. But that ends today, because Leonardo AI just released not one update, they released a double drop, giving us two amazing brand new updates. These are updates we've all been waiting on. We'll just dive right in and start with update number one. Motion 2.0, you can now easily generate video from the new AI creation interface. This is great, because this is something we've been waiting for. How good do you think Motion 2.0 can be? So right now, we'll take a look at the first update, Motion 2.0. And then after that, we'll head over and try out update number two. So in order to start using Motion 2.0, once you come over here to generate an image, just like you normally would, you'll notice a new feature up here at the very top. We're going to have the original one, the image, and then we have video nestled between image and flow state. Video is where you can make all the magic happen. But not only that, I can also come down here and scroll over any image I created. For an example, if I select this image specifically, once it's opened up, I can go ahead and click on image to video right here. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and try that. Now we're going to have motion 2.0 as our option. Now before that wasn't an option and you would kind of just get like these basic still movements, kind of just like a panning left and right. Now this takes things to a whole new level. So with this open, I can come in here and simply just type in my prompt. Now you could see it's going to request two things, the prompt and the source image. So there's the source image. Now for the prompt, let's just type in something basic. Now remember, when it comes to AI videos, detailed prompts like we become accustomed to for AI images aren't going to work as well. For AI video, a shorter but more precise prompt is actually going to work better. Handheld camera panning right, 3D render superhero Black Panther holding a gun. Let's go ahead and generate this while we're at it. Now when it comes to generating AI videos, you can do a couple of things. I can come in here and I can just simply type in a prompt and not use a reference image or I can actually upload a start frame right here and actually have a reference image and a prompt to use. Now you can see right below this, it says add end frame, that's coming soon. So all good news on Leonardo AI coming out with these updates and now letting us know that many more are soon to come. And so what we're about to do is try these in real time. I'm gonna go over to my Leonardo AI prompts database and show you some amazing examples to use. For the best prompts database you'll ever find, click the link in the description. But now look at this. Now we're back over in Leonardo AI and it looks like this video was done. Remember of the Black Panther one where I used a reference image and I didn't even really put much effort in it, but just from the looks of things, it's pretty impressive how this did turn out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is head over here into my Leonardo AI prompts database. Now, if you have this database, you're gonna notice something new. Up here at the very top where all of my tabs are, we're gonna have this new one called Motion 2.0 AI Video. We have the original one over here, motion, just regular motion, which not too impressive. This new one though is really going to stand out. But right off the bat, we can see I've already included a ton of new AI video prompts specifically for motion 2.0. Now, just to show you what I'm working with, this was created in Adobe Firefly's AI video. Again, same exact prompt, but let me give you a quick preview. Now, I have to say this is pretty impressive. And then we have this one right here. This one was generated in Kling. So the start here is how it looks in Leonardo AI, no reference image. Now, it does look pretty good. Now, whatever that thing is flying across the screen, maybe that's supposed to be a camera, but pretty good just with the prompt alone. But to be fair, let's try it again, but this time utilizing a reference image. Now, to show you that it does do a good job without a reference image, this one right here was actually done with just the prompt by itself. So, snowboarder going down the mountain, and as a comparison to that one, I will come over here and pull up the one I did in free pick. So we can have both side by side, okay? So again, the one in free pick over here, there is no reference image. And so you can kind of tell me which one do you think did a better job? Okay, so to be fair, let's come over here to my database and now try the Candyland one with a reference image. Here it is right here. I already generated these in Leonardo AI, but let's go ahead and do it again. Now these were done in Phoenix 1.0, which it's gotten a lot better since then. So let me come in here and then just copy the whole entire prompt just like this. Now with that prompt copied, now I'm going to come back over to Leonardo AI, paste the whole thing in, and now this time I'm going to first generate an image. So this could be so helpful since Leonardo is an all-in-one and we'll have two going at the same time. Now to get even more of a selection, let's go ahead and do it in flow state as well. So we're going to get a plethora of AI images for this magical candy land. All right, so flow state gave me a nice variety of different looking versions, so pretty impressive there. 
Okay, Flux Dev did very well. I like these. But now if you take a look at Phoenix 1.0, this top row right here, I'm very impressed with how these turned out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's choose one of these images and now use it in video with a reference image. Okay, now I have video selected right here. Let's go ahead and copy in the same prompt we used the first time for the AI video. Now with that said, up in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to select this little image icon and go ahead and add a start frame. I'm going to select your generations and quickly just select one of these candy land shots and now there it is and now while this is thinking one reason why i do love flow state is because if i go back to this database we're going to use a little bit of a cheat code and let's say i really enjoy these pov or these fpv style prompts i'll go ahead and try this first one a fpv drone fly through oh but before we do look at this it looks like our candy land video is done pretty good how this turned out a little bit slower but let's go ahead and try two more things i'm going to come back over here in the video and paste the prompt in of this FPV drone shot. But now I'm gonna go over here into flow state and paste that same exact prompt in, turn off prompt enhance, and now generate it in flow state. Because what I wanna do now is, with using flow state, actually use one of these as my start frame. But first, let's go take a look at the one we got without the start frame, and wow, pretty good the way this turned out. And look at this one, this turned out pretty well. That looks good, that's a true FPV. Let's go ahead and talk about update number two. And this one is gonna be extremely helpful because now, in flux, Leon Leonardo AI takes on Laura's. This is where you can now train your own style and object and coming soon character. So before we get into the second update, now look at this one right here. Now this, very, very good, much better. But now moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at update number two. That is gonna be over here on the left-hand side. It's gonna be right underneath advanced models and training. Go ahead and click this right here. And now you'll notice up here at the top, we're going to have this button that says train new model. Once I train new model, our options appear and you can see, I'll go ahead and select this. Now hit next. And now all we have to do is provide some data sets. We need to upload some images. So you may be asking yourself, how do I generate images? That is where flow state is gonna come in handy. I'll show you a very quick trick because you wanna have some images to actually train it. Let's go back to image creation, make sure we have flow state selected, and now we'll just type in anything that you wanna create an object for. Here's what I'll say, just give me a black purse. Let's go ahead and hit generate. Now this is where flow state really does come in so handy. Now obviously using multiple images like this isn't gonna work, but this is what is gonna work. If I like this style and I feel like this is something that could do a good job training let's go ahead and now select more like this because we want to get a variety but also similar style of images that we can use to train our model now i think this might be a little bit too dark so we're going to go ahead and generate again in flow state and choose a different style okay so we'll try it again black luxury christian dior purse and now we're gonna go ahead and choose a completely different image. And now this time, select one that doesn't have that style of spooky. How about the very first one? This might look pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select more like this. Now again, I'm not gonna be too picky because if I wanted to really narrow it down, I could get some identical images. I just want a few for now to use in this video to show you how to actually use this new tool. So what I would do is go through a few of these and download a few that are gonna look somewhat similar that you can use to now train your Laura. Okay, now that we have some images generated. Now let's go ahead and try this again. Select object. And now I can come in here and select images. So all you have to do now is just go ahead and name it. So I just said Dior purse data set images. It says you can select up to 50. Now with my downloads folder opened up, I'm going to go ahead and now upload all of these photos of that black Christian Dior purse that I just generated in Leonardo AI with flow state. Perfect. There we have it. We have 10. Now go ahead and select next. Now again, on this page over here, a few more details. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Now it's all based on your model. If I wanted to choose something else, then you would have to add a trigger word. I'm going to go ahead and stick to flux dev. And now category is going to be an object. And that's all you have to do. Now go ahead and select start training. Okay, so after about 30 minutes, it looks like our training is done. Let's go back to Leonardo AI 
and see how good of a job it did. And now here we are, and you can see right away, it says models and training, and we have our train new model, but then below it, we have the one that we just created in real time. But let's go ahead and now select just generate with this element. I'll click that button right there, and now just simply type in the prompt. Now you could see right away, it automatically appears right up here in the top left-hand corner of the prompt box. Now, if I hit this little arrow, this drop down, this is where we can again adjust the strength. The higher it is, the more importance you're putting on making this element as identical as possible. Okay, so I just said beautiful woman walking in the busy downtown street of New York holding a purse. Let's go ahead and now generate it. I'll leave everything just standard flux dev style dynamic just to see how good of a job our style are just to see how well our object can turn out. Now, while this is thinking, I'm gonna do one more thing. Look at this. I wanna come back over into this database. Let's also see with this one right here, if I can get a pretty good looking product shot like this. Let's go back over into Leonardo AI. And right off the bat, I could say that this did do a very good job, all four of these images of that woman holding that purse. Wow, now that is such a good job. All four images, very good. Now, with that other prompt I just typed in, Let's go ahead and look at it and then just replace the keywords of a watch and actually put a purse instead. Instead of being orange dust, I'm just going to say, let's say purple dust. Everything else looks good. Go back to the database and now try that other one that I was wanting to of that fashion model right here because I really do feel like this works so well. Oh, wow. But before we do, look at these product shots right here of this black purse. Fantastic. I have to say all of these images turned out perfectly. And the one thing I really love about it is because it doesn't have to be identical because remember, the images I uploaded weren't identical. Sometimes it had a keychain, sometimes it didn't. But the way that Leonardo AI gave me all these images is fantastic. Last but not least, there's that long prompt. I need to change up a few words. I need to replace everything that says Tom Ford with Dior instead. Okay, there we go, black purse with gold hardware. We'll leave that up there. Let's just see how good of a job this can do. I'll go ahead and generate this one. I'm gonna do it with dynamic, but I also wanted to do it in fashion as well, since this is gonna be a fashion model. And I also wanna do it one last time in portrait fashion, okay? We're gonna get three different variations to really put this to the test to see how good it could do. Why not just add one more for cinematic? Okay, now right away, these all turned out very well. We're gonna have my first row right here. This is dynamic, but now going up, we have the one for fashion. Now, the thing to keep in mind is the most important part, is that purse my object? And upon further inspection, it most certainly is. Wow, fantastic job. So there you have it, a new explosive update by Leonardo AI, one that we've all been waiting on for a while, I'm sure. Now, remember, this, although it may not be perfect yet, a lot of this is still new in beta, and Leonardo AI does say a lot more updates and improvements are coming on the way. So if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.